Hello everyone, Relgan here with another CVP game on Apotheosis and today I want to talk to you about Endgame. I'm gonna go very quickly through this game because it's a really long game, about 25 minutes, so bear on with me. don't really want to talk about the early game stuff over and um, again this time. I made another video yesterday where I talked a little bit about Ling Hydra Lurker, how to get to Broodlords, things like that. Also made some Ling Hydra Lurker guides previously against um, showing games against Indie. If you're interested in those, have a look at them. This, this time I want to talk primarily about the end game, about how to how to handle this guide toss and the uh, storms, things like that. So we're just blasting through this game right now. He's going for uh, for some tree based stuff. Uh, Steve Phoenix. Ah, actually, where are they? Oh, they're over here. That's some Phoenix and Oracles to try and do some harassment. I'm going for the for uh, Ling Baneling into Swarmhost composition. This is not really too important to this game. It's just how I started things off and how and it kind of shaped the game the way it went. Apotheosis is a gigantic map, meaning it's very hard on this map to push into the protest because it takes forever to go down here. And this guy specifically loves his turtle. He just turtles like a madman. I could probably kill him here with a pickling baning attack. But I don't know what's going on. I have to deal, deal with these phoenix, so I'm making some corruptors so he can't just lift all my all my swarmos immediately. Once the corruptors are about, I go for a push. Some swarm host ling baneling. Gonna speed it up a little while longer. I'm going for a hive tech as well, trying to get out to brute lords, ultralists, or whatever. Eventually, the locusts didn't really land where I wanted them to land, and I'm struggling quite a bit against these phoenix. So in the mid game, there's not too much happening. This is just a protoss who likes to stay defensive. He builds a lot of gateways, goes for this phoenix void ray. I don't know what kind of play he's going for exactly. He has templars. For storms, of course he goes for void rays because I have a lot of corruptors and he needs something to deal with them. Um, I don't. Re I'm not really. I was a little bit confused about how this game all happened because I felt like I should be able to somehow break him, but I just couldn't. Then he builds uh, another wall over here. We're going to see a lot of these walls over here. Is another wall where I will not be able to push through. Um, the locust landed in the mineral line this time, killing a couple of his units. Then big storms happened, killing all of my links off. Killed all his phoenix with my corruptor. Supply wise, I'm pretty good. Units lost wise, I lost way more. Workers killed. We're about even. So we are entering the the late the late game on this map, where he is going for the five bases with the gold. Has the void race, the storm. Can add tempest if he pleases. Here come the first. And it's pretty annoying to be honest. Um, trying to deal with these void rays, I probably should be able to. But um, the hallucinations kind of worked against me. Because I um, wasn't really sure how many units he had there. I really have an overseer with me. Big mistake by me. And. To deal with the void rays, I think I need wipers. Of course, the problem are high templars are really good. So I'm trying to get up to to wiper tech right now. Already have, in fact. I get all the upgrades. I have double spire for upgrades because I need a lot of upgrades against the void rays, against carriers and things like that. So I want to upgrade my my corruptors right now. He's using a lot of hallucinations too to screw with me like he's doing a really good job at that he gets the mothership as well where is it uh, there it is looking his units I still have no overseer now actually I do have some I think I'm starting to add some drops as well to get rid of my links trying to harass him over here but you can tell this guy is a master turtler Building a lot of cannons and things everywhere. He will also build a cannon wall here, another cannon wall in this area of the map, another cannon wall over here, another cannon wall here. He will just build a lot of cannons with the minerals that he has. 
I'm going for this drop, of course it will not really do too much. It's already ready for it. Already ready to... Trying to do some swarm stuff over here, but that doesn't really work either. So I'm beginning to realize that, um... Well, my attack simply won't work. It's just turtles. And it will be a game of resources. Whoever gets more bases will win. Key point will be this base and this base. Because I want th these two bases and he wants them. This one will most likely be his. He will, pro he will expand up this path. So I'm trying to um, do some damage to him. But it's really hard because storms are so good. So very good against my units. I'm getting the 3-3 tree tree upgrade right now. He has uh, three plus 3 attack on the missile but no armor upgrade yet. Trying to do some Hydralisk stuff on the side of the map. Go for a little run by. I find these oracles. I'm trying to take a peek at them. Kill off whatever oracles I can. Then I come over here with my Ultralisk Broodlords. Then I realize, well, he can just fly, so that won't work either, I guess. Yeah, this is the only place on the map where he doesn't have a lot of a lot of cannons. Right here we see that Parasitic Bomb doesn't really do too much. Storms are a lot more effic effective. Like his storms did so much more damage than my Parasitic Bomb did. That's why I need a lot of Ultra, so I can take care of the High Templar. And up until now I've kind of showed you how I fail. This was just one failure after the other, I attack him I attack him here, do nothing, I drop him, do nothing, swarm host, do nothing, ling, um, hydralists don't really do too much, another big fail attack, doesn't really work, and he's just turtling with cannons like a madman, and he's also harassing me the whole time of course, and I somehow need to deal with that as well, harassing me all over the map. How I deal with that right now is I, not, I don't really want to build static defense because I need the minerals otherwise. Later on however I will absolutely need static defense and I will talk about that a little bit as well. This is a pretty long game. I have way too many ultralisks right now but I need a lot of them to actually take care of his, his Templar. And Archons, if he were to make any, I don't think he actually does. No, only Templar. We both both players have a pretty big bank. I'm just running around dealing with his drops. Here we see, like people told me when I played this game live, just attack him. But how well, how are you going to attack a Protoss which just built 10 cannons per base? How how do you attack into this with um with harassment? You cannot harass a Protoss which just built 20 cannons. That doesn't work. So I was just starting to sit back, I'm going for a poke right here. There we s I'm trying to await the storms, some storms land however. Take care of a couple of his units. But that's not the big fight, the big fight will happen very soon and that is going to be really important. And I will have a, uh, I will give a detailed analysis of how, how I, of how I think that fight will go down. Right here we see the Mothership Core Recall being used, he goes in. Recalls out, does a little bit of damage, not too much. I'm just running all over the map dealing with his harassment. I still have 47 workers, he has way too many at 75. He keeps poking me, he keeps poking me more and more. Some more DT harassment over here. Some more harassment here, some more harassment here. Harassment here, there, everywhere. I'm just being attacked all over the map right now. Now this is the base I don't want him to have. I don't really mind him taking this one because uh, well, it's going to be tough to break it anyways. And now I'm trying to set up uh, engagement on this map, on this flank. So what I need is, I need Ultralis to come from here, from here. I need Corruptors here, here, here. And I need Vipers somewhere in this area as well. I need Ultralis Ultras to run up both ramps. So I can actually um, deal with his High Templars. A big problem are the cannons. I don't want all his cannons to finish, so I'm kind of on a timer. The Ultralisks are decent against the cannons, of course, but even they struggle. 
So we're going to have a look at how I set this all up. I had to pull my drones quickly, I'm not sure what I was doing there. You can see how I'm setting this attack up. Now ultralists come from everywhere. They immediately try to focus down his high templars. Parasitic bomb all over his army. Corruptor spread is pretty good, could still be way better. I pulled away the mothership. So I can have um, a better look at his army and I clean everything up. That is how I cleaned up this air protoss. Now we're going to see what happens when things go wrong as well. Because right now you might think, well, well you have won the game, right? Well, we're going to have a look at how I throw this game right now. Because he has a lot of cannons here and he still has storms. So I'm going to attack here and I will absolutely throw this game. I'm not sure if I actually had lost, maybe I cheated out too soon. I just, uh, just thought he had a way bigger bank than he actually does, I guess. He's doing some harassment over here. Dealing with that. I have all these ultras to take care of the cannons. I still have a lot of corruptors as well. But the problem is, right here, I'm going to engage very clumped up with my corruptors and he has so many storms. The brute lords mean he kind of have to has to engage me. He immediately took care of all my of all my vipers. So now right here the storms are doing so much damage to me. The storm void ray composition. Like all my corruptors just melted. And I'm pretty sure I would have lost here because I don't really have any more gas income. But he just melted me right here with the combination of storm and void ray. Because I was engaging clumped up instead of coming from this angle, this angle, and this angle. I just walked in with all my units. Now he has Arkan, Voidre left, and I sadly have to GG out. So we saw a really good engagement, and a really bad one, and a lot of failed harassment during the game. But I hope you guys enjoyed this CVP game, where I talked a little bit about endgame Protoss. Thank you all for watching, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!